Welcome back to our conversation with the head of the Suffolk University Political Research Center, Dave Paleologos, uh, one of the nation's leading pollsters. Dave, let's talk about the Massachusetts elections here. Jeff Deal, the Republican nominee for governor, only got 82% of the Republican vote in your, in your post-election analysis. 20% of GOP primary voters went for more Healy. That's a, that's a big number, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, Republican voters should be voting 95, 96% for the nominee. With that many people to respect, critical. And then uh, among uh, voters who had voted for Chris Doty, Deal's primary opponent in the Republican primary, they went for more Healy 41 to 35%. Have you ever seen anything like that? No, and the independent was getting like 20% of those voters, which shows total dissatisfaction and a division within the Republican Party, an issue that Republicans are going to have to deal with on a serious level. Well, I mean, to me, that says that the race for poor Jeff Deal was over the day he was endorsed by Donald Trump over a year before Election Day, maybe even dates back further to the party leadership, the chairman Jim Lyons and his decision to go whole hog Trumpist. Yeah, we never say impossible, I, I, I mean, you know, in polling, you know, but you're absolutely right. After primary day, it was highly improbable that Deal was going to be able, given the demographics, that Deal was going to be able to overtake Mara Healy. Well, all right, well, let's talk about uh, one of the outcomes on the ballot question, specifically question one, the so-called millionaire's tax, which passed 52 to 48. Uh, you and, and most, or if not all other pollsters, had the, the outcome correct, but not the margin. Uh, your, your last poll had question one winning 58 to 37. That's a pretty big difference. Uh, how do you account for it? What happened? Yeah, absolutely. So part of the reason that polls like Massachusetts poll doesn't count for our scoring is that it was over three weeks fielded over three weeks before the election. It's still no reason to to explain why we had the yes side at 58 percent and the yes side was really 52 percent. That six points was outside the margin. So, you know, I think what we took into account in our polling is that you know, you're recording people who may blank vote or who may change their mind in that three-week interim. And in this election, you had over 100,000 people blank vote, which means that they vote for governor and other offices, and then they skip voting for the ballot questions. In our poll, we made sure that everybody answered not only the governor's question, but also the ballot question. So I think that we recorded some of the support that may either have changed their mind in the last three weeks or who may have blank voted. Well, you're going to laugh because I'm going to regurgitate a theory that I shared with you a couple of months ago, and there's no way to prove it, but I, I want your quick final take on it as we wrap it up here, that maybe there were voters who went in that booth, voted for all Democrats up and down the ballot, and then in sort of classic contemporary Massachusetts fashion said, hmm, Maybe I want to send a little bit of a breaking message to this all blue ticket by voting yes on, or rather by voting no on one. Well, any, any chance that's correct? You know, I, I I think I think that's possible. I mean, you know, one of the issues on the no side for the last three weeks is just to raise doubt. Right. When you're on the no side of a ballot question, you don't even have to convince people to vote no. If you raise doubt, people will opt for the no side just to keep things the way they are. And so that makes it more challenging for the yes side to hold. Usually you do have people tacking away from the yes side as a general rule when questions are raised about, you know, what is the legislature going to do with this with this tax increase and so on. And the no side was very effective in closing the gap. Um, much closer than, than most of the polls showed. Dave Paleologos, Suffolk University Political Research Center. Great job on the polling. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Take care.